Welcome to this episode of Dread Captures. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the most compelling and jaw-dropping camera footage we can find. Now, let's get into the captures. This is a pretty crazy slash funny video here. Taken in, yep, you guessed it, Australia. A home security camera captured the moment a kangaroo and a man got into a fight in his front yard. You see the man come around the corner and the kangaroo is chasing him. I mean, I know they can be aggressive, but dang. The man gets up and is hitting the kangaroo with a stick, which doesn't seem to be doing much. Finally, the man takes the kangaroo down. All the while, his dog is barking in the fenced enclosure in the background. Man, I wish I knew what happened after this. I wish the camera didn't stop rolling. This is great. I don't mean to laugh because I could tell this man was fighting for his life. But it's just a great video. I don't have much information on this video other than a pilot saying he caught this on camera and thinks it's a UFO. I'm going to let it play a few times and I'd love to know everyone's thoughts. I mean, to me, it looks like it could just be a plane. It's oddly shaped and flying in the path of and very close to this other plane, but I just don't know. I'd be interested if there were any pilots listening to this that could shed some light on what this could be. First of all, is that an odd shape for a plane? Is the speed abnormal? And can you confirm or deny that this seems a pretty dangerous way to fly? Especially if in fact that it is just another plane and not a UFO. I don't know, I would just love to know more information about this. I'm unsure of which country this is in, but an outdoor camera captured the moments an owner and her dog have a scary encounter with a snake. The dog catches that thing out of the corner of his eye, and he doesn't hesitate. Goes into full attack mode and snatches this snake. He flings it into the driveway where he spins and flips it all over the place. You can see as the snake tries to bite the dog. One last time, the dog picks the snake up and takes him out of camera view. And you can see the husband and wife duo come out with a broom to break up the fight. Lastly, it's unknown if this snake was poisonous or not. He was definitely a pretty good sized one. Can anyone tell what kind of snake this is? Or if it is anything other than just a plain old black snake? In Colombia, a farmer stumbled upon a mysterious creature while he was tending to his bees in the field. This creature, which had a black color and two horns atop its head, had been hiding in a prickly bush before it was discovered. Once the farmer caught sight of the creature, he decided to grab his camera and film it. As he approached the unknown beast, it appeared to stare directly at him, giving off a very unsettling energy. The farmer said he couldn't shake the feeling that the creature would attack him at any moment, so he made sure to keep his distance. After a few minutes of observation, the horned beast disappeared behind the bushes and vanished without a trace. The farmer was relieved but also puzzled by what he had seen. When he checked the surrounding area, there was no evidence the creature had ever been there. With its striking appearance and elusiveness, the mysterious creature remains a topic of debate among the locals, who have dubbed it the Colombian Cryptid. In this next clip, these two young boys saw this really weird creature roaming a field outside their house, dressed in all white and crouched down like it was some kind of wild animal. At first, they weren't sure if it was even real, but one of them thought he'd get a bit closer to check it out. And that's when the thing started screaming in this bizarre voice and suddenly stood up and charged straight at them. Needless to say, they were totally freaked out and ran as fast as they could back into their house. But wouldn't you know it, after hiding out for only a few minutes, they decided to peek outside to see if the creature was still there. And sure enough, it was still hanging outside their house like nothing had happened. 
And to make things even more spooky, their dog started barking at it too. The boys were later interviewed by a cryptid hunter and they were pretty freaked out. No one seems to know what this could have been. Do you guys have any insight? One of your worst nightmares is to have a guest that won't leave. Well, similar to that, this is just a hilarious camera capture. Look at this. A man recently had an unexpected encounter while boating on Puget Sound off the coast of Washington. He spotted two enormous sea lions swimming nearby and decided to record them. When suddenly, the massive marine animals decided to take a break and rest on top of someone's sailboat. Yeah. Look at the way the boat tilts. It's clearly not designed to handle these types of passengers. Each of these bad boys can weigh up to 2,500 pounds and reach 11 feet in length. Now, the sailboat that is anchored in the harbor looks a little older. It's probably not abandoned, but maybe. A few other instances that have been caught on camera like this, and the boats were definitely not abandoned. I'm guessing these lions are just taking a breather or looking for a place to sun themselves. Anyhow, great capture. I've never seen anything like this. A man was asked to watch a friend's property while they were on vacation. He became paranoid after hearing strange sounds, and he knew that some odd occurrences had happened to the neighbors that lived on that road. To ensure his safety, he set up trail cameras around the perimeter fence. And while reviewing the footage one night, it appears that one afternoon, he captured an image of a large, furry, bipedal creature with massive hands and legs walking past the camera. He was freaked out. This was captured in the middle of the afternoon. As he scrolled through more footage, it became apparent that the creature appeared every day around the same time, suggesting that it was keeping an eye on this man. When the man house sitting screenshot and texted an image of this creature to his friend, the owner of the property, all he got back was a warning not to upset the creature. The friend said that the neighboring properties had all seen it, but nobody knew what this thing was. The man that was house sitting seemed to have a change of heart. Now he thought he was just the butt of a joke, that they were all playing a prank on him. There's no way that this could be a real creature running around this little neighborhood. So he figured that this had to be just one of the neighbors running around in a suit. So the very next day, he yelled at it and decided he was going to expose the prankster. However, when he did yell at it, the creature ran away so fast that he immediately knew that whatever this was, it was not human. He never saw the creature again. But every single night, something on the property was destroyed. Gardens, flower beds, a rope swing, the windows of a beat-up pickup, and more. Does anyone have any idea what this creature could have been? A park ranger stumbled upon a wrestling match in the California woods. Two birds of prey were locked into each other with their talons. He described the battle being between a sparrow hawk and a juvenile kestrel. You can definitely see a distinct size advantage. If you remember a few videos back, the kestrel was the bird that hovered in the air and its head remained completely motionless until it was time to attack. Well, it looks like he was on the wrong end of this fight. Anyhow, it appears he survived. The smaller bird that flew off was said to be the kestrel and you can see the hawk standing on the ground is pretty good sized. Just a great capture here. Another video from California shows the moment a man found an unusual tree on the edge of his farm. At first glance, this looks more like a portal than a tree. But upon closer examination, it was discovered that the tree was still burning from the inside out. But upon closer examination, it was discovered that the tree was burning from the inside out. This tree had caught fire during the wildfire, and even though it had been contained for several days, the tree continued to burn. The man observed that the tree was smoking and had small holes on the inside where the flames were visible. However, the outer layer of the tree appeared to be relatively undamaged. Some people aren't so sure that the fire was caused by the wildfire. 
Another possible explanation for this is that lightning may have struck the tree and caused the inside to catch on fire. And perhaps the reason why only the inside burns and not the trunk is because the inner layer of the tree is moist, which makes it easier for the fire to catch and burn the tree from the inside out. I will say the image of this burning tree is both fascinating and eerie, and it serves as a stark reminder of the destructive power of wildfires and natural disasters in general. Just awesome, awesome footage. A few videos ago, we saw a similar situation where a man's home was invaded by birds. And if you think that couldn't have been any worse in this video, these are bats, not birds, flying into this home's chimney. I really hope the homeowner is the one taking the video so they're not actually in the house. And statistically, this is pretty odd, but bats are known to occasionally fly down chimneys in search of a roosting site. Chimneys provide suitable shelter for bats because they often have a dark, cool, relatively dry environment that is similar to the natural roosting sites bats prefer, such as caves. Anyhow, do any of you have any experience with something like this? I hope not. In October of 2019, wildlife authorities in Kenya were puzzled by a giraffe wearing an unusual necklace. Yep, a tire stuck around its neck. Luckily, a mobile veterinary unit was sent to rescue the animal. But as you can imagine, it was pretty difficult to dart and sedate that massive creature. After a group effort, the rescues were able to relax the giraffe and gently remove the tire using ropes. After the tire was removed, the giraffe was given medical attention to treat the wounds caused by the tire. The awesome rescuer stayed with the giraffe until she woke up, making sure she was alert and stable before releasing her back into the wild. Rescuers are unsure of how or for how long the giraffe was in contact with the tire. It was most likely dumped by a person, and this is a reminder of the dangers that human-made objects can pose to wildlife and to just basically not litter. In what the owner of this video says is a once in a lifetime event, in August of 2017, a three-legged deer nicknamed Tripod was spotted in South Texas. The curious creature was observed standing perfectly on its three limbs. You can see the small knobby protrusion on its front shoulder, that appeared to be a piece of bone or old joint. It is likely that the animal was born without one of its legs, versus possibly losing it to a wilderness accident. And as you can imagine, while this absence of a limb could have posed significant challenges for the animal in the wild, it has adopted remarkably well. The deer has not only learned to compensate for its disability by balancing its body on three legs, but it also runs pretty normally, and I would imagine that it has to to escape predators. Anyhow, a truly miraculous example of nature's adaptability. Check out this awesome video featuring these three dogs that look like they are frozen in time. They're gazing off in the same direction without even a blink. Check them out. It's crazy. Some viewers have even wondered if these dogs are possessed or under some kind of hypnosis. But the truth is, they're just incredibly well-trained. These pups have been taught to hold perfectly still until their master gives them a specific signal, which is a remarkable feat of group discipline, even for highly intelligent sheep herding dogs. They were able to remain motionless for a full 30 seconds before finally sprinting off on command. If I'm being completely honest, I'm not sure when you would ever use this or what for, but it is pretty interesting. And if you rewind, you see that one dog move his head in the background. <laughs> pretty funny. A good Samaritan story here, as last January, a man came across a deer in distress. The poor thing was swimming in circles in extremely cold weather and appeared to be disoriented. And upon closer inspection, the man realized that a paint bucket was covering her eyes and her nose and mouth, making it difficult for her to breathe. 
The deer's chances of survival were decreasing rapidly as there was a high likelihood that the bucket could fill up with water and pull her down under with it. Not to mention she could exhaust herself just swimming in circles, unable to see where to go. Fortunately, the man spotted her in time and called for help from a nearby boat. And after several attempts, they were finally able to rescue her. However, the deer was still confused and continued to circle in the water. So the rescuer took a brave step and grabbed her tightly, got her back towards the shoreline where she eventually ran out of the water. Similar to the deer, in April of 2015, a greedy lion from a Dutch zoo found himself in a precarious situation. He couldn't help himself, so he dove his face into the feeding barrel that was chocked full of raw meat and meant for his entire pride. In his eagerness, the lion's head becomes stuck, and he found himself trapped. The concerned members of his pride tried to help, but the lion's restlessness was nullifying their efforts. As the panicked lion continued to struggle, and zookeepers worried that he might hyperventilate and pass out, they made the difficult decision to sedate it. Thankfully, the lion was unharmed and eventually freed from the barrel. This should serve as a reminder to us all that greed can lead to dire consequences even for the king of the jungle. This is just a really cool clip to catch on camera. At first, I thought this was just a bear cub crouched and peeking through the brush. But then when it shows itself and starts to scale this tree, it's pretty dang big. Look at how fast he goes up it. Experts say black bears are significantly faster climbers than grizzly bears and unimpeded, they can go up a tree as fast as 25 miles per hour or 35 feet per second, which is just unreal to me. And their strong, agile bodies equipped with claws are designed to grip the tree bark. The soles of their rough textured pads provide the perfect traction for going up and down trees. It's just remarkable, and I think I can say that this is the fastest I've seen a bear go up a tree. Not to mention how quickly he went down the tree. What say you guys? Does this surprise you? Also, did anyone know that they could go up as fast as 25 miles per hour? This is just an incredible capture here. Just to be able to see this is amazing, but then to get it on film is even cooler. Look at this bobcat walking over the pilings. That leap is amazing. What do we think that is, 20 feet or so? Man, I know these cats are super agile, but that's still very, very impressive. Let's watch it one more time. Check out this crazy video here. It shows three hunters on a boat floating down a river when they suddenly spot a brown bear and her cubs on the bank. The mother bear charges at the hunters with only a few feet between them. But one of the hunters quickly pulls out his rifle and fires a warning shot in front of the bear. Luckily, the shot scares the bear away. Both the hunters and the bears escaped without injury. But this video is a reminder of the danger of hunting in the wild. If you've caught one, then you understand. That guy must have gotten a hot tip that the tarpon were running, and I imagine he'll be finding another place to wet a line. This is a great video here of a father and son in a kayak pulling up some crawfish traps. They've baited these and placed them in various areas, and after a few hours, they'll check them and hopefully they've caught some crawfish. Well, in this particular trap, they hooked a little more than they bargained for. That is a big gator. 
Actually, I'll put it like this. This father and son duo had some crawfish, but now the crawfish are the gators. This next alligator clip shows another fisherman on the bank that's hooked a nice bass. Well, it appears Mr. Gator doesn't like this guy pulling fish from his pond. This amazing black coyote footage comes from the YouTube channel Michael Outside. Look at this thing, he's beautiful. Black coyotes are relatively rare compared to their more common reddish gray or tan colored counterparts. The exact percentage of black coyotes in the population isn't well documented. The genetic mutation causing this different color is thought to have been introduced into the coyote population through interbreeding with domestic dogs or wolves. Anyhow, just a beautiful animal. And this next clip will show you what most likely brought him in front of this trail camera. This big old fat hog just wallowing in the mud. Yep, that's feeling good. If you go back and watch this video in its entirety, if you look at the trees in the background, you can actually see the hog goes and rubs up against them. In the daytime, it looks like all of the bark has been scraped off the lower parts of these trees. Anyhow, Michael has a great spot here for a trail camera. And if you're just interested in looking at wild animals on trail cameras, Michael has a great channel. Dash cam footage from a police cruiser in 2014 shows the moment an officer pulls over a small pickup. Almost immediately things get weird. Before the officer gets to the truck, you can see him looking on the ground at something. Something in that puddle, but as you can see, it's too late. Whatever it is latches onto the officer's neck. The driver of the truck sees what is happening and he just bolts. Rather, he hobbles away, but he didn't stay to help is my point. The officer eventually rips the thing from his neck and throws it back where it came from. This is crazy. Okay, now, some of the commoners have mentioned that this might be some type of backwoods leech-like cryptid. I don't really know what to say. My first thought is that it's likely fake. I don't know of any animals that can do that, and the man fleeing the truck kinda makes it feel like it was staged. Anyhow, enough from me. What do you guys think about this clip? I've seen a lot of comments that a single coyote can't catch a deer, at least a full-grown one. Well, we have some evidence that might prove them wrong. A trail camera captured a coyote attacking a deer right in front of it. The coyote jumps and grabs the deer's neck, quickly going in for the kill. The deer was fighting hard for its life, but unfortunately it looked like the coyote was too much for it. In a bit of a plot twist, later on the same doe was spotted sitting with a buck, roaming around as if nothing had happened. It appears the coyote must have gotten chased off by the buck, and the deer was able to get back up and survive. Unfortunately, this wasn't captured on camera, and it might have happened after the camera restarted, as there is a time difference. Unless there's some funny business going on. During a recent camping trip, a family captured some eerie footage that has left them feeling pretty unsettled. While enjoying the outdoors, the father decided to capture the moment by snapping a quick photo on his phone. Little did he know that his phone's live photo feature was also recording the moments immediately before and after taking the photo, effectively creating a short video clip. Upon playing back the footage, the entire family was shocked to see a strange, shadowy figure moving on all fours directly behind their son. 
Upon closer inspection of the photo, it was clear that there was no one present in the frame who could have caused this anomaly. And the figure definitely did not look like a human. All in all, this unsettling footage is sure to send shivers down anyone's spine. What do you guys think it could be? A spine-chilling CCTV security footage camera has captured what a scared security guard believes to be a paranormal ghost encounter. While conducting a routine patrol, the guard had some eerie moments caught on camera that left him with more questions than answers. The video shows a car door opening by itself in a mysterious way. When the guard looked further into his workplace camera, he discovered more creepy moments that made him wonder if this is actually real ghost activity. He believes this evidence to be proof of a real paranormal experience. A strange floating white light can be seen gliding along the interior of the car shortly before the door opens. He suggests it's a possible ghostly entity in white light. When the owner was made aware of this, they were just as freaked out as the security guard. So what do we think here? Is this video evidence of paranormal activity or was the car door simply not shut all the way? Maybe the wind blew it open. But if that's the case, what do we make of the weird and mysterious white light floating across moments before? I'd be interested in hearing what you think. This spine teemling home video you're about to see may resemble paranormal poltergeist activity caught on camera, but in fact, it's far scarier than any ghost. The footage captures household items, chairs, tables, and furniture being thrown to the ground while lights turn on by themselves. The house seems like it's almost possessed by a rampaging ghost. However, this is, in fact, terrifying home video footage of the Acapulco earthquake. As you see at the beginning of the video, the house begins to shake, and the doorway slides back and forth as the entire house moves on its foundation. Probably the craziest aspect of this video is that the earthquake measured 7.4 on the Richter scale. And while 7.4 may seem like a lot when you take it out of 10... What's truly terrifying about the Richter scale is that it has no upper limit, and the most significant earthquake ever recorded was only an 8.6. Have any of you been caught in an earthquake? I remember a few years ago when we had one around where I lived. I was actually in an underground warehouse and stuff started falling off the shelves. It was unbelievable. Anyhow, let me know your thoughts. This camera captured some pretty cool footage here, as a hawk swoops in and tries to grab a rabbit. The rabbit was able to survive the first attempt, but man, these hawks can turn on a dime. The hawk eventually commandeers the rabbit, and he begins to enjoy his meal, but he sees something coming off in the distance. And out of nowhere, this lone coyote shows up. Obviously, he's looking for a quick meal, he actually looks like he's injured and limping. This seems like a strange setting for all of this to happen. I noticed the sidewalk, and it's surprising that a coyote is just wandering around. Any ideas where this could be? A short clip here, but on the right of your screen, you can see a mother moose and her babies. She charges this man who's just on a road bike. And I'll just say it, he gives the most lackadaisical, half-hearted effort. He just falls over. I mean, look. The rider appears to have made it away safely, so maybe he knows something I don't. But speaking for myself, I really don't think my tactic would be to just fall down if I saw this moose charging. Look, like I said, he seems like he made it out okay, so who am I to judge? In February of last year, a video was shared that caused some concern among the local bird enthusiasts. The footage showed a man approaching a small kingfisher that had become stuck to a tree trunk with its beak. This behavior is unusual for kingfishers, but since the trunk was from a soft banana tree, the bird may have mistakenly gotten stuck while searching for sweet nectar. 
Luckily, the man noticed the bird's predicament and intervened, saving the vulnerable creature's life by removing its beak and freeing it from the tree. It was really heartening to see the bird recognize its need for help and allow the man to assist. Mankind and nature working together. Drone footage here shows a dingo tracking a group of boars. One single dingo doesn't stand a chance against a full-grown wild boar. The reward isn't worth the very real likelihood of getting injured. However, a piglet is more in this dingo's weight class. As he chases one twosome, he spots a duo running up ahead and moves on. He makes one attempt, but the pig is able to get away. However, he doesn't miss on his next try, and is able to take the smaller pig down. This footage taking in an undisclosed location shows the exact reaction I think most hair salons would exhibit in this case. This cat has caught a snake, which is still alive. And while the camera angle isn't the best, you can absolutely tell that the cat is like, what's wrong guys? What's all this fuss about? Snake just hanging out of his mouth. He's like, this is just my little buddy I'm going to play with. All the while, all the ladies in the salon are freaking out. Great camera capture. This is just insane. It's a quick video, so I'll let you watch. It doesn't need much explanation, but that massive gator tries to snatch that sleeping cat off the side of the boat. Wow. Cats really are so impressive. Their agility alone makes them extraordinary. I mean, look, that gator is huge. Man, I'm glad that cat's okay. She was on her P's and Q's. And let's be honest, thank goodness this wasn't a dog. Because while they are quick... Not many dogs would have been able to avoid getting pulled overboard by that gator. Anyhow, great bit of footage. This is a really cool video here. Rams are known for being very stubborn. And, well, so are boars. Here is a preview of the two of them squaring off. Man. As we can see here, a boar has broken into a sheep's pen. It's unclear why, but the farmer suspected he wanted to eat one of the smaller sheep. Wild boars are omnivorous, so they do eat meat. Generally not as large as a sheep, but you never know. Funny enough, the farmer said there was a sheepdog in the enclosure. But he didn't want any part of this big pig. As we watch, the boar chases the sheep back and forth, until the ram steps in to stick up for the flock. The boar turns his sights on the ram, and this is how it goes. The ram smashes into the boar. I mean, boars are tough. But I don't know how many of those he can take. Look at that. Anyhow, after a few good shots to the dome, the boar was ready to get the heck out of there. This would be quite the scene if you happened to glance out your front door and saw this. Captured on a home security cam, you can see a family of mountain lions, consisting of a mother and her three cubs, just taking a leisurely stroll around a family's house. I mean, they are absolutely beautiful. But can you imagine the shock when they caught these creatures just strolling right up the driveway as if they owned the place? 
Despite their intimidating presence, the mountain lions didn't disturb anything at all or cause any harm. They simply wandered around as if on a sightseeing tour, exploring their new surroundings. Someone joked that perhaps the mother lion was teaching her cubs about human culture. I was more inclined to think she was saying, Okay kids, if things get really really bad and you can't catch any food at all in the woods, this is where you come. They'll either feed you or, well, you know what to do. I digress. Watching these magnificent cats casually hanging out as if it was no big deal makes for an awesome camera capture and an even better story. Admittedly, this video blew my mind at first. I was hanging on the edge of my seat as he pulls this massive lawn worm out of the ground of this residential neighborhood. I mean, it looks like a freaking alien. This guy has the tail of it, and as you can see, it's gigantic. He walks all the way out to the street with it, and it's still coming. Now, I was late to the party, but most of you probably know this isn't a worm. Hey guys, I'm out on site in Glenmore Park. This client's been complaining about the lawn losing all its colour. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that, Rodney. Rodney's just pulling this out. This is a giant lawn worm. Uh, they eat away at the roots of the plant. Look at that, Rodney. That's insane. That's one of the biggest. Oh my god. Anyway, we've pulled this out now. The lawn should recover pretty well. Good luck. I tell you, the Australian accent had me sold. It really helped sell this video. So this lawn worm is actually a compressed log of dirt and roots that have built up over time and are clogging someone's drains. Anyhow, let me know what you guys thought. I definitely got tricked. I thought I was in the movie Tremors for a second. Now, onto a real life lawn worm, also known as the anaconda. A video of a large female anaconda attempting to cross a road in broad daylight went viral on the internet. The incident on your screen took place in Brazil in 2019. People even got out of their cars to prevent approaching vehicles from hitting this massive creature. Can you imagine hitting this thing with your car? This really was an extraordinary sight as the anaconda was 4 meters long and estimated to weigh over 100 pounds, making it even more of a rare occurrence to witness such a large and impressive snake. This clip here starts off with a bang. A beautiful bobcat shows herself in the rain, followed up by a possum. Pretty common. Then we see a couple of raccoons. A deer comes to check the spot out. Okay. A little bunny hops into frame. And then we see this. I mean, what the heck is that? Gosh, it looks awful. If we break it down, it's definitely missing a portion of its right hind leg. And maybe even a portion of the left. It's hard to tell. Maybe you guys can see it. It looks hairless. What is this? Let's play it a few more times. So it has to be either a coyote or a dog. It honestly looks kind of like a malnourished hyena. But I'm thinking coyote with mange. I wonder what happened with its foot. Maybe it got caught in a trap or hit by a car or something. I mean, we didn't get to see him at full speed, but I have a hard time thinking that he's really able to catch a lot of food. He must be the ultimate scavenger. We can tell he's a survivor. If I saw that pop up on my trail camera unexpectedly, I'd be freaked out. Anyhow, what do you all think happened here? Do we think this is a mangy coyote? Let me know your thoughts. An older video here and 
probably the most popular, most viewed kangaroo video ever. I'm sure you've all seen it, but it's pretty remarkable. In the video, a hunter's dog is captured by a kangaroo, causing the owner to panic, understandably. He rushes over to the kangaroo in an attempt to rescue his poor dog. However, the crazy part is the kangaroo refuses to let go and continues to hold the dog in a headlock. Eventually, as the hunter gets closer, the kangaroo lets his stranglehold loosen and the dog slips away. At that moment, you would think that this little mishap would be over. That the man would walk away because he got what he wanted, his dog. Instead, the man puts his dukes up. And honestly, it kind of looks like the kangaroo is challenging him to a confrontation. You see how he puffs his chest out? Despite the potential danger, the hunter stands his ground and punches the kangaroo in the face, leaving the animal bewildered. I mean, the whole incident seems like a scene straight out of a movie. To this day, I cannot believe that this is real. Here we have another absolutely absurd video with a kangaroo. It shows a kangaroo and a dog fighting in the water. What in the world is going on down under? The kangaroo and the dog were captured on camera engaged in a fierce fight, neither caring about the added danger of this taking place in the water, which adds a whole nother level to it. Bystander said the determination of these two creatures to overpower each other was remarkable. The dog starts to swim away, but then he comes back for more action. Honestly, I actually thought the kangaroo might drown the dog. I was worried when he puts his paws on the dog's back and pushes him under. Anyhow, I guess the dog's owner was worried too, as he eventually hopped in his skiff and came to the dog's rescue. The original uploader said the kangaroo eventually made its way back to dry land and went about its day. Just a pretty unreal thing to catch on camera. Pretty cool and very relatable footage here showing a mama bear's grueling task of safely transporting her four cubs across the road. You see mom's trying to get them together. However, her offspring have different plans as they continuously run back and forth, near about turning it into a game of tag. The vehicles have all stopped and if you look, I think that's a police SUV making sure the bear and the cubs can cross safely. That's nice of them. Despite her uphill battle, the resilient mama bear persistently carried and guided her cubs towards safety until they all reached the other side. I feel like this practically sums up parenthood. This heartwarming scene highlights the shared struggles between animal mothers and human mothers. Moms, just trying to keep everyone straight. This is a creepy video here as we see a couple on a trail hiking. Halfway down the trail, they notice a very well camouflaged snake on the side of the trail. I mean, you can barely see this guy. I'll point him out. Her husband made it by, but she was frozen in fear as she tried to muster up the courage to get past the snake. I mean, which to her probably felt like a black mamba or a very venomous cobra. Eventually, she digs deep and is able to cross the snake's threshold, but as soon as she does, the snake does a little half-hearted lunge towards her. That's a little surprising. You don't usually see snakes that aggressive. He must have perceived her sudden movements as a threat. Anyhow, you can hear how frightened she is. Oh, he didn't come at you. <laughs> also, can anyone identify what kind of snake this is? At the beginning of the video, when it was blending in so well, it looked to be tannish brown matching the ground, but when it moved, it looked kind of black. Interested if anyone can make it out. Okay, so this video freaked me out. So now you guys have to watch it. Let's set the scene. Imagine driving through a dense forest with only the sound of chirping birds and rustling leaves filling the air. Suddenly, you hear a strange noise that sends chills down your spine. You're curious, so you decide to investigate. First mistake. 
Well, that's exactly what some brave souls did when they heard something unsettling while passing through the woods. And little did they know, a creepy witch was lurking around the area, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. The video ended with the witch ominously creeping into view of the camera. We can only hope that these adventurers made it out of there alive. Okay, let's be honest, that's a fake video, but that lady and her rushing the camera, I, I was not expecting that. Let me know in the comments if it made you jump a little. Be honest. It made me jump, be honest. Have you ever seen a flock of turkeys trudging through the snow? Yeah, me neither. The recorded footage from a trail camera showcases three turkeys navigating through this deep snow, and it's pretty impressive. The turkey in the front takes the lead, clearing the path for the other two to follow closely. It appears as though they're on a mission, with the chief turkey guiding the way. This was probably a nice surprise for the trail camera owner. I can definitely say I've never seen this. I've seen their tracks in the snow, but I've never actually seen it on film, so it's such a great capture. The driver in this video seems to be from Russia. He and some counterparts are driving on a dark road with only the car's headlights as a source of light. Suddenly, they see a big figure pass in front of the car, and everyone inside starts screaming. They weren't expecting this at all. The creature quickly darts out of the frame and into the woods. If we slow it down and look closely, it appears to be big and solid with hair all over its body. It's hard to say for sure what the creature is, but some people think it could be Bigfoot or another undiscovered creature like a Yeti. There are, however, some skeptics, people thinking that the video is fake. But regardless, it's pretty creepy and impressive that someone went out in the middle of nowhere to film a practical joke. Anyhow, what do you guys think? A man and his friends were on a golf trip in Florida when one of the guys found himself in a precarious situation. While golfing, he hits his ball just barely off the fairway. And suddenly a giant alligator shows up and takes quite a liking to his golf ball. The gator looks at it but then eventually picks it up. I really hope this guy is just zoomed in with his camera and he's not as close as he looks. The gator just continues to hold the ball in his mouth kind of taunting the guy like you need to play it as it lies in my opinion i think it's best for you to just take a mulligan this is an amazing camera capture here you can see a bald eagle swimming in this little lagoon the cameraman said he swooped in and caught something in the water and is trying to pull it out as the video continues, a bystander comments that he thinks he might be stuck. Another says it's like he's fighting with something under the water that might be trying to get his meal. Well, we have a winner. There it is. You see the alligator that just popped his head up near the white feathers? Watch this. We see as the eagle is still trying to drag his meal through the water to land. But the gator has turned his sights on the bird. In the original video, you can hear people yelling for the bird, go, 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 let go of whatever you're holding. It seems as if the eagle is going to make it to land, but he's still dragging his prey. As the video cuts off, I'll just say it did not end as we were all hoping. Anyhow, this could be a very good lesson in losing a battle to win a war. This is a very, very cool story here. A few days ago, a woman named Iris was out on a ride and stumbled upon a spot where all the pine needles had been scratched up underneath a pine tree. She says she has seen this before, and it's usually one of two things. Either a flock of wild turkeys scratching for something to eat, or a bobcat or mountain lion has made a kill and covered it up with the pine needles. 
after a bit of searching, Iris was able to spot a bit of fur sticking out from the big mound in the middle of the needles, and it was a lot bigger than what she's seen before. Upon closer inspection, armed with Bear Mace and her dogs by her side, Iris realized that this was covering an entire elk, not just a deer as she suspected. So whatever the predator, it was big enough to take down an elk. Iris had an idea to set up a trail camera to see what she could capture, see which animals were coming to feed on the carcass. A few days later, she came to retrieve the footage. It turns out three mountain lions had feasted on the elk, leaving little more than bones and fur. It's amazing how fast they finished that thing off. The camera footage here is really cool. Watch this. Were you guys able to spot the second lion? Keep watching. These lions look young to me. Maybe they're just on the smaller side. I'm not sure. Overall, this is really just great footage and a cool video. You can see as the lion pulls the carcass from the pine needles. Obviously, I couldn't fit everything into this clip, but I highly recommend you guys go watch the whole video from Iris's channel. It is awesome. And furthermore, let me know if you guys have ever seen anything like this through your time in the woods. Another viewer submission from Candace in New Hampshire. This unsettling image was captured at 3.22 in the morning, deep in the heart of the Appalachian Mountains. Locals have dubbed this enigmatic figure the Phantom Hiker, and his eerie backstory is the stuff of legends. The story begins in the small secluded town of Whispering Pines. Life there is peaceful, but as with any remote town, there are whispers of unexplained happenings in the woods. One summer, a local hunter named Jeb set up trail camps to monitor the deer population for the upcoming hunting season. Little did he know that his cameras would capture something far more mysterious. On the fateful night of August 13th, Jeb's trail cam snapped an eerie photo that sent chills down the spine of everyone who saw it. The image depicts a strange, disheveled man standing in the middle of the forest at 3.22 in the morning. His eyes seem dark and dead. His clothes were tattered and weathered. His gaze is fixed directly at the camera as if he's staring into your soul. Local lore has it that this is the ghost of Samuel Harker, a reclusive hermit who vanished without a trace in the late 1800s. His body was never found and the townspeople of Whispering Pines have long believed that his restless spirit still wanders the forest. Some claim that the phantom hiker is an omen of bad luck or even death, while others insist that he's merely a lost soul, seeking his way back to the land of the living. Since Jeb's initial encounter with the phantom hiker, several other locals have reported sightings of this mysterious figure. People have described hearing eerie whispers in the woods, and some have even claimed to see the ghostly figure following them at a distance. So what do you guys think of Candace's photo? Is the phantom hiker a lost spirit doomed to wandering the woods for eternity? Or is there a more sinister explanation behind his ghostly appearances? Let me know your thoughts. Almost everyone would fear for a horse if he was surrounded by a pack of wolves. But in our next clip, you might be surprised at what happens. Footage taken in northern Italy shows that exact scene, but what happens next is perplexing. The horse doesn't run. Instead, he just lays down in the snow, which I think we can all agree is very strange behavior. But what might be even stranger is that of the wolves' behavior. The wolves aren't aggressive. They never mount an attack. An area expert explains that this pack of wolves are very unfamiliar with horses, wild or domestic. On top of that, they actually have no known prey that comes anywhere near the size of this horse. So basically, the pack was uncertain on what to do with the horse. So they just left it alone. Completely uncharted territory for these guys. 
This is just a really cool video to me. It just goes to show how animals can react in unpredictable ways, especially when they're in unfamiliar situations. Great footage here. In 1986, the number four reactor in the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, located in the city of Pripyat in the former Soviet Union, suddenly exploded in a routine safety test. This explosion released a massive amount of radioactive material into the atmosphere. The explosion resulted in a significant loss of life and widespread contamination of the surrounding area and its effects are still being felt today. The area around the plant remains uninhabitable, and a large-scale cleanup effort is still ongoing. Wildlife was majorly affected, and all but the strongest species died. The radiation is responsible for many birth defects and mutations. And if you remember a couple videos ago, I posted a clip of a headless moose running around Chernobyl. There are said to be some very interesting, creepy, peculiar creatures that have come out of this Chernobyl explosion. The very interesting channel Encountering Wildlife has acquired a picture of what many are calling a hybrid werewolf. It looks very eerily similar to the dogman that we all know from the cryptid world. It is said that the animal is suffering from intense radiation contamination and is very elusive. This rare picture has been disputed as being fake. But what do you guys think? Naysayers have speculated that if anything, this creature is just a very sick mutant wolf and in no way a type of cryptid. I don't know, it looks pretty creepy to me, but I'll let you be the judge. I'd love to hear everyone's thoughts. This is something that I've thought about a lot. Read that stat and watch this clip. It's absolutely unbelievable. I knew cats were quick, just like everybody else does, but I thought keen senses had a lot to do with them escaping harm, not so much their physical capabilities. As you can see, the snake gets inches from the cat's face before he strikes. Not only does the cat not get bitten, he didn't just dodge the snake. He weaved and then caught it with the right hook and sent the snake in the other direction. I honestly couldn't be more impressed. Watch this next clip to see another cat in action. As the video starts, you can see the two in question checking each other out. The cameraman slips the video into slow-mo right before the snake strikes. Incredible. Like the cat before, this cat is able to avoid the snake's fangs by centimeters. Let's watch it again. Watch the cat's legs. He just goes straight up. There is no wasted movement. And of course he lands on his feet. The cat was so nonchalant about this whole encounter. Again, cats are just very impressive in this aspect. Our next clip in an unknown location, we see a group of wild horses just grazing the wetland grasses. We also see a massive alligator nearby. Well, the herd leader is sick of this guy just lurking around. Even if the alligator has no chance to catch these horses on dry ground, the beautiful black horse wants him gone. Black Beauty heads over and fires off a few warning stomps. And the gator does a little shuffle to get going. The horse, feeling pretty confident I'd imagine, goes over again to stomp the gator with his hooves. This time, it almost ends in disaster. Look as the gator arches up and bites the horse's front leg. Wow. It is a true testament to the power of both of these animals. It was impressive the horse was able to pull himself away. But I'll say this, if the gator had been able to grab a body part with a little more meat on it that would have helped him sink his teeth into it, I think it would have been all she wrote for that horse. This next clip caught on a security camera shows the brute strength and power of wild boars. Watch closely at this gate. I mean, the boar went right through that thing. It didn't slow him down at all. 
I mean, I will say the gate looks kind of flimsy, but that guy just powered right through it. A very sad part for many boars is that the loss of natural habitat due to human expansion is driving them into neighborhoods and other areas where they are more likely to encounter humans. This man was lucky to get away. As you can see here, hikers are trapped on a log after being confronted by a wild boar while on a hike. They got extremely lucky that this tree was here and due to the hooves of the boar, this is about the only place he can't get them. Boars are extremely territorial and will stop at nothing to get you out of their space. And researchers have even said, boars are just grumpy, they're mean. Experts also said that boars may be more irritable because of internal discomfort. They are known to carry many parasites, germs, and infections. Here we see a PO'd boar in a suburban city making a mess of this gas station. I mentioned they were territorial, but this isn't even their territory. So either they're scared, or they really are just mean. Nevertheless, be very careful if you ever encounter a wild boar. Here is a video submission taken from a Virginia home that shows some very strange linear lights moving through the night. They seem to be going at a high rate of speed. I was pretty surprised when I got this video because I actually hadn't seen this before. After I did some digging, it's not aliens, it's Starlink, which is a satellite internet constellation operated by SpaceX. It provides satellite internet access coverage to over 53 countries. It is also aiming for global mobile phone service after 2023. There are dozens of videos of this online and it apparently is very common. Anyhow, I am very appreciative of the video and it caught me off guard as well. This is more of a funny video than one to take serious. A lady in a park spotted what she thought was a very frightening and incredible sight. A mutant deer with two heads attached to one body. This video actually went viral. Many, many people believed it to be a two-headed deer. I wasn't at the park that day, but I'm going with this being an optical illusion. It's really cool though. A trail camera in an undisclosed location picked up movement from a very strange animal in the woods. Only one photo was taken and the creature's snout is missing from the picture, which might have been able to help us identify it. In my opinion, the color of the fur is unlike most forest living animals, and if you remove the head from the picture, the fur looks like that of a sheep or maybe even a younger type of animal whose fur hasn't grown in fully. I can't make out what this animal could be, and it's hard to make out the size of it. It looks large, which definitely doesn't fit the description of any animal I'm aware of. If it is a smaller rodent type, then that would be more understandable. Anyhow, interested in what you guys think of this creature? What could it be? Or could it be a fake altogether? It's hard to say these days. A great video taken in Yellowstone National Park shows a majestic black wolf. In Yellowstone, wolves are the symbol of wilderness, a testament to nature's untamed spirit. As we can see, he's feeding on a fresh deer kill, accompanied only by some black crows, for now. The wolf continues to eat, nourishing himself for the days to come. But in the wild, a meal earned is not always a meal enjoyed in peace. Suddenly, two coyotes emerge from the forest shadows. Coyotes are clever opportunists, always looking for a chance to score an easy meal. They begin to inch closer, their eyes locked on the prize. The wolf, aware of the intruders, lets out a low growl, warning them off his kill. What follows is a tense standoff. The coyotes are smaller, but have the advantage of numbers. The wolf is larger, stronger, but he's also alone. 
The coyotes finally make their move, darting in to snatch a bite, but the wolf stands his ground, fending off their advances. He even chases them away. Look how much bigger he is than the coyotes. You can barely see the coyotes over the high grass while the wolf towers over it. The coyotes move back in as the wolf tries to drag the carcass away. Eventually, a third coyote shows up. But despite the odds, our black wolf defends his meal fiercely, reminding the coyotes that, in Yellowstone, every creature must earn its meal. Finally, the coyotes retreat, leaving the wolf to enjoy his hard-earned meal in peace. But out of nowhere, the wolf takes off and runs away as well, leaving the carcass. The original poster said that while they didn't see one, there might have been a bear that had moved into the area for the takeover of the carcass. Another interesting note is that the OP said he and his family have seen a dozen or so wolves on their trip, and this one was by far the largest. Amazing camera capture out of Yellowstone National Park. This video is pretty crazy. A TikTok user shared a chilling video that captures an unsettling event while he was home alone. The homeowner started filming when he spotted the lights in his bathroom flickering. He calls out and asks who is there. He tells the presence he is not going to harm it. He just wants to know what's going on. Viewers can clearly see a shadowy figure appearing from around the corner. Yet, when the homeowner enters the bathroom to explore, there's no sign of anyone. The figure, known as a shadow person, is a concept that's intrigued paranormal enthusiasts for years. They are typically described as dark, human-like silhouettes that move on their own, often spotted in peripheral vision and disappearing when directly observed. Reports of these shadow figures have come from all over the globe, with theories ranging from ghosts, being from another dimension, to even manifestations of negative energy. So. Could this be a legitimate sighting of a shadow figure? The video has certainly sparked interest and unsettled many viewers. However, like most things like this, it's hard to conclusively identify the true nature of this figure. What do you guys think? Is this a real shadow figure? In this video from Ontario Sasquatch, Mike shares some fascinating information about his experiences with the Sasquatch family over the past 10 years. Mike has learned a ton about their unique abilities and characteristics and has had over 100 visits with them. He explains the Sasquatch are like people with different personalities and abilities, feelings. He's given them names and considers them to be very unique and special. Amazingly, he has also been measuring the foot size of a Sasquatch named Neff over the years and has been able to document four different sizes, showing growth from 12 inches to 18 inches as the Sasquatch grew up. During his most recent update, Mike shows an image of Neff's face, which he calls a Sasquatch selfie. The image shows Neff's black, almond-shaped eyes and partial view of his nose and nostrils. He also claims that the Sasquatch family has the ability to manipulate electronics, including his camera, phone, and video camera. Mike is grateful for his ongoing interaction with the Sasquatch family, which has changed his understanding of reality and the existence of the world. This is just a small clip of a larger video. I suggest you go watch the other pieces of this. You can tell Mike is compassionate and caring to the Sasquatch world and more particularly this Sasquatch family that he's come to know. The natural world can be merciless, especially for the smaller, more vulnerable creatures. In this instance, an unfortunate rabbit became the prey of a relentless pack of coyotes. Despite its best efforts to escape, the rabbit was outpaced by one of the coyotes, who clamped it in its jaws, sealing the rabbit's grim fate. Witnessing such harsh realities of nature is gut-wrenching, particularly when it results in the loss of a seemingly innocent creature. The coyotes need to eat to survive, and this serves as a stark reminder that in the wild, survival of the fittest is the ultimate law. Each animal is just a small piece of a much larger puzzle, 
and it's crucial to accept that they're merely acting on their survival instincts. Nevertheless, awesome, awesome trail camera footage. Okay, so this next tale has been making my skin crawl since I first laid eyes on it. This eerie tale comes from a viewer living out in the middle of nowhere, Kentucky. The kind of place where your closest neighbors are the tall trees and the occasional wandering wildlife. No people around. The 30-something man started noticing strange things happening around his property, like the kind of stuff that makes you question reality. Shed doors left wide open, items mysteriously moved around, and gates that he knew he'd locked found unlocked. Alarmed, but also curious, he decided to set up a trail cam, hoping to catch the mischievous intruder in action. When dawn broke one morning, he eagerly checked his trail camera, and what he found was not your typical raccoon or deer caught in the act. No, what he found was the stuff of nightmares. This first image shows a figure that looks like it walks straight out of a horror film. This creature, if we can even call it that, is unnervingly skinny. Its body's skeletal and its head is just disproportionately large. If that's not crazy enough, here's where things take a turn for the truly bizarre. The second photo shows what appears to be the same creature. Or is it? This figure seems to have breasts. It's got the same rail thin body, the same oversized head, but this is a new detail that throws me for a little loop. So first of all, what are we even looking at here? Is this a skinwalker? Is this one creature perhaps changing shapes before our very eyes? Or are we looking at two separate creatures? Honestly, I can't decide which scenario is more disturbing. As always, I'm eager to hear your thoughts, so let me know. What do you think is going on in these photos? Please drop your theories down in the comment section below. Caught on camera in the middle of the night, this lynx is a real beauty. Known in the woods for being strong and graceful, she strolls through the woods like she owns the place. As it nears the trail cam, you can tell it's curious. It sniffs around the camera, giving us a glimpse of its inquisitive side. The beautiful cat is curious but cautious, showing itself for the camera, but being careful. Lynx are known for being elusive and very hard to catch on camera. A lot of that is due to the conditions they like to live in, but also its very keen senses keep them on their toes. Anyhow, this footage shows it's easy to see why folks are so fascinated by the lynx. With its killer looks and presence, it's got everyone from nature enthusiasts to photographers completely hooked. From the opening of this video, it's pretty easy to tell the setting and most likely exactly what is happening. That is correct. An African crocodile has snatched the zebra at a local watering hole and the fight is on. The zebra is losing ground. He's fighting hard, but it seems like the end is near. The wildlife biologist and the one filming this, the zebra was about to give up. He laid down. Seemingly out of nowhere, off to the left of the screen, we can see the beginnings of the hippo arrival. As they arrive, the crocodile begins to pull the zebra deeper, but at that moment the hippos step in and rush to push the zebra closer to land. It's amazing, honestly. The zebra is able to get free from the water and limps out, only made possible by this group of hippos. The zebra is hurt, but the same photographer said he survived and he was seen a few days later, just walking gingerly. Anyhow, just a great video of animals working together. The Facebook page UFO Discover has once again piqued the curiosity of its followers with a fascinating clip. The video's source is unclear, but it shows a series of unidentified lights in the night sky over Homestead, Florida. The lights initially burst into several streams. After briefly pausing in the sky, a larger light breaks off, creating even more intriguing streams of the light. The new lights then move independently and erratically through the air. While some viewers first thought the phenomenon looked like a meteor burning up, 
Others countered that the light's subsequent movements were too unusual to be a meteor shower. That alone has led many users to suggest the footage is proof of a UFO encounter. What do you all think this could be? A group of friends, teenagers and 20-somethings from Mexico, had a very strange encounter with an unidentified creature. And instead of fleeing in fear, they did what most kids would do. They decided to pursue it. However, what they discovered was far from what they had anticipated. Initially, they thought they had hit a dog with their truck. One of the guys said he thought he saw a large poodle colliding with his side of their car before scurrying away. So of course the driver pulled over to the side of the road. But upon closer examination, they quickly realized that this creature was most likely not a dog. It didn't move like a dog, but they were willing to look past that because they just hit it with their car. But it was also much larger than a dog. And it really moved the brush and the trees and the undergrowth that it ran into. They were also surprised that the dog never barked or made any noise at all. And also that the dog didn't want their help which honestly is actually pretty common for dogs that get hurt. They're not always sure that you're there to help them. Anyhow, through the years, this mystery of what this creature could be that collided with their car continues to baffle them. While the identity of the creature remains unknown, one thing is certain. It was not your typical canine. We can only hope that further information about this creature will be revealed in due course. But as for now, let me know what you guys think this could have been. It does kind of look like an overgrown dog that needs a haircut. I don't know of any really other way to put it. Anyhow, let me know what you guys think. This is just a heartwarming video. A small monkey has heard the screams of this kitten that is caught in a well in Singapore. He doesn't waste any time as he jumps down in there to try to retrieve the scared kitten. The monkey is trying to figure out a way to get the kitty out, who is surprisingly calm might I add. The monkey's first- Our next story features a father and daughter who were out in the woods filming for their popular YouTube channel named Liana Run. Their videos are traditionally upbeat and happy, but this day was a little different. As they walk through the forest, unaware of the danger lurking in the shadows, they suddenly felt a massive presence following them. The father looked around, but he kept filming his daughter Liana, not knowing what was creeping closer and closer to them. Suddenly they saw movement, and it was a massive creature moving in between the trees. It's hard to tell what it was because it was moving quickly. They both were shocked, and immediately they both thought, hey, this could be Bigfoot. The footage they captured was so convincing they couldn't believe it was real. They were both filled with fear but also thankful the creature didn't attack them. They posted the video on their channel and asked viewers to share their thoughts in the comments section. The video went viral and people all over the world were fascinated by the mysterious creature in the woods. Let me know a couple things. Have you seen this video? What do you think it is? And do we think this could possibly be a publicity stunt? Footage captured by someone that should probably rethink where they hike. They've captured a young, inexperienced bear that has managed to commandeer a boar, which as we all know is not an easy feat. The bear is on his hind legs and propped up on the boar. The cameraman said that it appeared the bear had a good hold of this boar's mane, just holding him in place. Again, no easy feat and a testament to the bear's strength. The boar is absolutely exhausted. This went on for roughly 20 minutes before the bear noticed the onlookers and was startled and runs away. You can see how tired the boar is, he just lays there for a moment, probably wondering if it's all over. This next video brings a whole new meaning to protection dogs. These German Shepherds have upped the game to new heights. 
In Wayne County, Ohio, a resourceful farmer has harnessed the power of these remarkable dogs not only to safeguard his livestock and land, but also to ward off a peculiar threat, his sheep's appetite for his precious crops. Check out this footage of these German shepherds standing as guardians, defending the fields from the same sheep they're there to protect. If you watch closely, you'll witness a masterclass in canine communication. Through their body language alone, these dogs demonstrate a commitment to their task. With swift precision, they nudge and guide the sheep away, instinctively protecting the precious crops. I mean, who needs a fence when you have dogs like these? Very, very impressive work right here. This discovery caught on camera is nutty. While exploring his newly acquired land, a farmer stumbled upon a remarkably well-preserved corpse that bore an uncanny resemblance to a monkey. However, there shouldn't be any monkeys here. Intrigued and seeking answers, he carefully transported the preserved remains in a glass case. This discovery left everyone in town bewildered. Either this monkey-like creature was from outer space, or it's an undeveloped animal that met a tragic fate soon after birth. Hoping for insights, local museum archaeologists closely examined the unusual specimen. Their findings added to the mystery. The creature appeared akin to a monkey, yet its skin had an uncommon leathery texture. It defied the norms of any known monkey species. Furthermore, the body exhibited a stiff firmness, the exact opposite of the flexibility typically associated with primates. Unfortunately, the puzzle deepened, leaving experts and curious minds perplexed. Was this monkey-like creature a sign of extraterrestrial life? Or was it something more common that met a tragic fate that rendered it uniquely preserved? Who knows? The farmer's quest for answers hasn't gotten far but it has opened the doors to the understanding that stretches beyond the boundaries of known science. These next pictures and story are from a viewer named Jesse in the Florida Everglades. Jesse owned a small property that butted up against the vast expanse of the Everglades. He was an avid outdoorsman, always eager to explore the mysteries hidden within the swamplands. One day, while reviewing the footage from one of his trail cameras, a chilling sight grabbed his attention. There, amidst the dense foliage, appeared an unknown creature. Its long, stringy hair, a peculiar blend of gray and brown, hung down in disheveled strands. The creature's eyes, a piercing yellow, glowed in the darkness like fiery embers. But what struck Jesse most was its dog-like snout adorned with big teeth ready to snap shut in an instant. Curiosity peaked, Jesse's mind raced with questions. What was this mysterious being lurking on the edges of his property? Was it a creature of legend, an ancient dweller of the Everglades? Or something entirely new and undiscovered? Determined to uncover the truth, he embarked on a quest to capture further evidence of this elusive creature. Equipped with his trail camera and a sense of anticipation, Jesse set out into the depths of the Everglades. As he navigated the murky marshlands, he could sense an otherworldly energy hanging heavy in the air. The sounds of the usual creatures echoed through the trees, heightening the ambiance around him. Days turned into nights, and nights bled into early mornings as Jesse patiently set up his trail camera in strategic locations. He had his bag of food in his tent, he meticulously scouted the landscape, searching for traces of the puzzling creature. Each passing day only fueled his determination to shed light on this fascinating mystery. Weeks went by and he headed home. Filled with anticipation and endless hours of footage, Jesse reviewed and reviewed. The Everglades seemed to hold its secrets tightly, teasing Jesse with glimpses of creatures he already knew of. Then, one stormy night as thunder rumbled overhead, the last trail camera captured a defining moment. The mysterious creature emerged from the shadows, its long, stringy hair clinging to its hunched form. Its yellow eyes gleamed with an otherworld intensity as it prowled through the dense vegetation. The creature seemed aware of the camera's presence, a glimmer in its eyes, and a snarl for the camera. 
For as big as it was, it moved with an uncanny grace, effortlessly navigating the thick terrain. Jesse watched in awe as the creature's powerful jaws snapped shut. The sight of this creature both fascinated and unnerved Jesse. He realized that he was witness to an ancient predator, an embodiment of nature's primal instincts. It was a creature that had adapted and survived in the unforgiving Everglades, hidden from human eyes for who knows how long. In that moment, Jesse realized the significance of his discovery. This creature represented the untamed essence of the Everglades, a reminder of the wild and untamed beauty that thrived just beyond the edges of civilization. With newfound respect for the wilderness, Jesse decided to keep the creature's existence a secret. He understood the delicate balance between preserving the unknown and protecting the wonders of the Everglades. And so, the man and the mysterious creature continued their separate journeys through the Florida Everglades for 20 years. Jesse never spoke of this creature until recently. He has sent these pictures and story in, in hopes that someone can help identify the creature. The world awaits, ready to unveil the secrets that lie within the depths of the untamed Everglades. This brief clip is not for the faint of heart, as it captures a truly insane moment. Now, imagine the shock that gripped the two Forest Department officials as they trailed behind a group of bikers. Out of the dense brush, without warning, a massive tiger sprang forth, unleashing an explosive burst of speed tearing at the men. Thankfully, this pursuit lasted only mere seconds as the tiger veered off. The sheer intensity of the encounter left everyone breathless, a chilling reminder of the raw power in the untamed animal kingdom and how helpless you can be in the blink of an eye. Okay, picture this scenario. You switch on your air conditioner, seeking relief from the sweltering heat, only to be confronted with a spine-chilling sight. In the southern port city of Guangzhou, China, a resident experienced a moment of sheer bewilderment. As we can see from the video, this is beyond scary. A snake emerging from the depths of the AC unit after lying in wait for this rat. The snake, after his unbelievable descent to snatch a live rat, skillfully propelled itself back into the AC unit. In a state of disbelief, most likely like the rest of us, the man quickly grabbed his camera to document this kill. All the while, the snake calmly slinks back into its hidden home, most likely planning to eat that rat directly over the man's bed. That is creepy. Look, I'm from a small town in the country and I grew up being told to never kill snakes around your house because they were free vermin control, but... This snake slithering out of this AC unit has unlocked a brand new level of fear for me. Honestly, I don't like mice, I don't like rats or snakes, so I'm just going to be grateful that this isn't going on in my house. But let me know if you guys have seen anything like this inside a house, because this is nuts. A pretty crazy mystery coming out of the Rio Grande Valley has people scratching their heads. Caught on this camera footage is an unknown critter. It has four legs, seems to be lurking deep in the woods, and I can't quite pinpoint what it is. At first glance, it looks like a wolf carrying some type of prey, perhaps, and running away as if something was hot on its heels. But here's the thing. Wolves aren't known to roam these parts, they say. So despite all the theories that have been thrown around, nobody can really put their finger on what in the world this creature is. We see it on this path, but in the blink of an eye, it's vanished into the bushy darkness, leaving everyone on high alert and more questions than answers. Let me know in the comments if you have any idea what this might be. Is it an unidentified creature or are my eyes playing tricks on me and it's just something really, really simple? A group of friends witnessed something extraordinary. A massive humanoid figure perched on a cliff. Aware that they had stumbled upon a scene reminiscent of a sci-fi movie, one of them attempted to zoom in on the mysterious being. 
However, the considerable distance made capturing a clear image nearly impossible. But the fact that the entity could be seen from such a great distance only added to the spine-chilling experience. Some speculate that the figure was a genuine hybrid, part alien and part human, caught on camera. Others dismiss it as merely a bear. Later on, the friends returned to the site where they had seen the creature, and the situation took an unexpected twist. It was gone. If it was just a tree, where was it? And also, if it truly was a creature, where was he heading next? On a hiking expedition, a group of friends stumbled upon an unusual sight captured in their drone footage. A strange creature seemed to materialize out of thin air, slinking out from the trees and into the camera's view. The footage found its way to social media, sparking a flurry of conjecture about the creature's identity. Some theories are that it could be a skinwalker, while others propose it might be a mutated wild animal. Yet, the true nature of the creature remains a mystery. The friends, equally confused by their unexpected encounter, are curious to hear other people's interpretations. If you have any insights or ideas, let me know what you think about this. During a hike in the deserts of Arizona, an astonishing encounter with a snake shed light on a fascinating phenomenon. A man stumbled upon a copperhead snake that someone had tried to kill. What amazed him was that, despite being decapitated, the snake appeared astonishingly alive. Very carefully, he pushed the snake's head and body near each other, in a pile of sorts. All of a sudden, the snake, driven by instinct, started biting its own body, as if it were a predator. This incident raises two intriguing facts about snakes. Firstly, whether alive or dead, snakes can be equally deadly. Their venomous bite remains potent, stressing the caution necessary when encountering them. Secondly, snakes possess a remarkable biological trait. Even after their demise, their bite reflexes persist for several hours. This unique characteristic allows them to continue their predatory actions, even in the absence of vital functions. The incident in Arizona serves as a vivid reminder of the resilience of these reptiles. On June 22nd of 2016, Oak Ridge, New Jersey residents were captivated by an influx of extraordinary bear sightings. Reports were flooding in about bears that defied nature's norms, gracefully strolling on their hind legs. Come to find out, all of the reports were actually of the same bear. And the reason this bear was on its hind legs was that he was recovering from a severe front limb injury, and the bear actually doesn't walk on all fours ever anymore. He's adapted to this unique gait. Once everyone settled down, the bear earned the charming nickname Petals, swiftly becoming a sensation on social media. Local wildlife experts were called in, and reassuringly they determined Petals to be harmless. Of course, they cautioned residents on any interaction, basically saying, it is still a bear, you know. It seems as though Petals has unveiled the secret to efficiency all the while reminding us that even amidst challenges, nature finds a way to adapt in all. Now, I have seen this picture a few times, and honestly, I thought it was fake, but perhaps there is some merit to it. This image has captured the attention of audiences across the internet. A greenish, blue-eyed creature with haunting features. I mean, this thing ignited intrigue and speculation. Some saw a rabid canine, tormented by the disease that unleashes aggression and occasional delusions. Some victims even hallucinate and lash out. Others focused on its hairless body, believing they had stumbled upon a chupacabra, which most know, but that's a legendary beast notorious for blood sucking and goat slaying. There were whispers that this image might be connected to the creature responsible for the farmer's ordeal in Texas the one where he was searching for his entire farm of missing cattle. Nevertheless, despite numerous theories, the true identity of the creature in this image remains unknown. It looks to be some sort of canine. If I had to guess, it would be just a dog with mange. 
I don't know. If any of you know any more about this picture, I'd be interested. In the heartland of Kansas, a couple, plagued by unexplained disturbances in the dead of night, took matters into their own hands. Installing a network of trail cameras, they sought to uncover the source of their unease. Little did they know, their search would plunge them into a nightmarish realm. As they anxiously reviewed the captured footage, their blood ran cold. Out of nowhere, an enormous, unknown hand snatched one of their cameras and vanished into the darkness. And that camera was never found. However, the surviving cameras unveiled a horrifying truth. A creature, reminiscent of a werewolf, prowled under the cover of night. At first, they figured it was a bear, or at most, a regular wolf. However, as they delved deeper into the evidence, they were left with no choice but to confront a terrifying reality. The figure roaming their property was the embodiment of a fearsome werewolf. Fear began to consume their thoughts as the descriptions matched, leaving little room for doubt. What they had witnessed defied rational explanation. Now, each passing night would bring anxiety as they wondered what lurked beyond the darkness. The line between myth and reality blurred, and the couple was left to face the chilling truth that creatures of nightmares do exist, even in the seemingly tranquil landscapes of Kansas. This eagle cam has captured some amazing footage off the coast of Southern California, more specifically the west end of Catalina Island. As it rolls, we see a bald eagle in its nest, about to settle in for the night. 91, the number on its wing tag is just used for tracking purposes. Out of nowhere, this sly fox creeps over the side of the nest, undoubtedly hoping for mom and dad to not be home and a shot at some of these free eggs. Well, not today. Mama Eagle stands up, spreading her wings as an intimidation tactic. It works for the time being and the fox retreats. This is a pretty cool part. We can see her start calling for her mate. Check this out. He shows up pretty quickly to the distress calls. First of all, meaning he's a very smart man. But secondarily, it just is really cool to see how they work together. Now, let's be clear on a few things. This fox is not after the eagle. A full-grown male fox stands no chance against an eagle. None. Zero. He was after the eggs. Also, in regards to the ease in which the fox gets to the nest, these eagles have made a home on the side of a cliff, not high up in a tree like normal. The video clip eventually ends with no other sightings of the fox, but it's an awesome up-close look at the dangers lurking in the night in the wild. Awesome footage here taken in the frozen plains as we see some badgers and coyotes. Two badgers and four coyotes to be exact. Now, what most people probably think, myself included, is that we were going to see a battle, but no. These guys are actually hunting prairie dogs together. Coyotes and badgers are known to form unlikely alliances to hunt prairie dogs and other burrowing rodents. It's a phenomenon well documented by biologists. This particular partnership between two seemingly contrasting species is known as mutualistic hunting. It's based on the unique hunting strengths of each animal and the ability to flush out prey more efficiently together than alone. Coyotes are quick and nimble, well suited to chase and catch prairie dogs running on the surface to escape. On the other hand, badgers are adept diggers, able to follow and dig out prairie dogs that retreat underground into their burrow systems. By hunting together, they can cover both escape routes effectively, increasing their overall chance of securing a meal. Now, despite these potential benefits, it's important to note that this cooperative behavior is not always observed. And in certain situations, coyotes and badgers may still act as competitors rather than partners. Nevertheless, in this video, a great partnership and amazing camera footage.
In a spine-tingling video posted to Reddit by user RyanCooper1337, viewers have been left questioning their perception of reality as they grapple with a combination of dread and doubt. The video, which has since boomed on the internet, has amassed hundreds of thousands of views and comments, stirring a significant amount of intrigue within the online community. Take a look. The clip titled, When Living Alone, shows the person holding the camera recording a child's giggling as they peep out from behind a corner. As the camera moves closer to the source of the laughter, the child seems to evaporate into thin air. Complicating matters further, the front door starts to thump violently, and the spooky laughter echoes once again. <sighs> This footage ignited a fiery debate among the viewers, with the majority consensus agreeing that the footage is unquestionably eerie, but probably too perfect to be genuine. Skeptics contended that the video bears the traits of a convincingly crafted deception, utilizing skillful editing and sound effects to generate an experience. However, even the most committed doubters confessed to being unsettled by the footage. Regardless of the general agreement that the video is most likely a practical joke, its widespread appeal discloses a deeply rooted interest in the paranormal among internet users. What say you guys? What do you all think about the video? In June of 2018, a rancher shot and killed what many presume to be a real-life werewolf. DNA tests conducted on Monday confirmed that the unusual werewolf-like creature that had puzzled Montana wildlife authorities and even drawn national attention was in reality a slightly malformed female gray wolf. This creature was killed last month and its peculiarly large head, enormous paws, and strangely shaped ears had kept the officials guessing about its identity. The creature was killed by a local rancher near Denton on May 16th. For weeks, wildlife officers were left clueless about the identity of this odd beast. Eventually, the creature's body was sent to a forensic lab in Ashland, Oregon. Here, its genetic material was matched with thousands of DNA samples collected from wolves, coyotes, and dogs. And luckily for those residents, the findings put any scary moonlit tales to rest. The unusual animal was identified as an 84.5 pound gray wolf hailing from the northern Rocky Mountains. As stated by officials, the wolf measured approximately 4 feet in length and was aged between 2 to 3 years. A geneticist from the Wildlife Service pointed out that variability can exist within species. The creature's peculiar appearance that initially puzzled experts may have been due to the angle of its photograph which might have amplified some of its features. However, previously, in mid-May, officials argued that the creature could not be a wolf due to its relatively short canine teeth and front paws. They further added that its oversized floppy ears and dense fur were unlike any ordinary canine. The enigmatic creature sparked a plethora of theories on Twitter. Some suggested it could be a dire wolf, an extinct species of large canine that once inhabited North America, while others speculated it's a werewolf. Anyhow, mystery solved and great camera capture. Infrared trail camera footage taken from Katmai, Alaska shows the amazing hunting tactics of these bears and a few wolves. They are in a state park and this particular part of the park closes at night. So the bears flock here because they know they can fish with less interruptions. These animals' eyes are much more well adapted to night vision than a human. The salmon also try to migrate at night to enhance their chances of survival during their perilous journey. This nighttime migration helps them avoid predators that rely on daylight for hunting. Additionally, cooler night temperatures reduce stress and preserve energy, which is vital for their long trek. Well, a few of these guys won't be so lucky. These bears are plucking them out of the river pretty easily. 
we finally see the first wolf show up as he wanders in at the bottom of the screen. He snatches a fish on the bank there. While the wolf and the bears act like there is enough fish to go around for the both of them, they are completely aware of each other's presence. Most definitely the wolf is. It's cool to see all the bears and the wolf there. The bears have found themselves a honey hole. It's not until later that the wolf actually gets to go out there on the fall lip and hunt. Anyhow, this is just awesome, awesome footage here. Pets, particularly dogs, are often thought to possess heightened sensitivity towards supernatural phenomena, a belief that seems to be corroborated by a viral video shared by Reddit user known as DKit75. In this clip, we observe the family pet appearing noticeably distressed. The dog swiftly pivots and barks, as if responding to a nudge from an invisible entity. You can see as the dog looks like he's pushed, he almost slides across the ground. There's nothing there, but that is very odd. The uploader alleges that this incident was not the only strange happening in their home. From the day they moved in, the family was under the impression that they might share their dwelling with an otherworldly female apparition that happened to resemble the poster and her middle daughter, especially in terms of height and dark hair color. The OP also mentions a spooky event one night where she believed she saw her daughter go into the bathroom. However, to her surprise, she found her daughter sleeping peacefully in her room when she went to check on her. After choosing to keep this eerie encounter to herself, her husband admitted that he had a similar experience the following night. He thought he saw his wife in their bedroom, but at the same time, he heard her voice and laughter coming from the kitchen. Finally, the family had had enough and decided to move out of the house. They still have the footage of the dog's unsettling experience, perhaps documenting their paranormal encounters. So what's your take on this hair-raising account? Could this family have genuinely been cohabiting with a ghostly entity? I am curious to know your thoughts on this mysterious incident. On the evening of January 16th, 2023 at 10.19 p.m., an unnerving incident was captured on camera by Twitter user JXRDXNCMR. The footage, obtained from their home security system, stirred up a discussion about the paranormal and the existence of supernatural beings. The video features a strange, misty figure materializing from the left, seemingly advancing towards the house. The translucent apparition bore a striking resemblance to traditional images of ghosts, which brought about a fearful reaction from online viewers. They went nuts. Social media users quickly joined the discussion, conjecturing that the eerie figure might indeed be a spectral presence. The comment section was filled with an array of theories and interpretations. Some users even shared their personal hair-raising experiences while others proposed more grounded explanations, suggesting that it could be a camera malfunction or optical illusion or spider web or rain. While opinions varied, the video indisputably rekindled the age-old debate on the existence of ghosts in the paranormal. A tale as old as time. Regardless of what you believe, this eerie footage is definitely a mystery. What do you guys think of this? Let me know in the comments. This is a pretty cool video here. As we can see, a cat is just hanging out under this deck, most likely his normal hangout spot, when an eagle, that's right, a bald eagle, walks into his yard. The cat is just checking him out as the eagle saunters up. When the camera angle switches, we can see the bald eagle with the face on view. She's beautiful. The cat eventually comes off his perch to check the eagle out. He's walking the perimeter, trying to figure out what the eagle is doing here. The cat makes a little move toward the bird, and you can see the cat's back arch and the eagle spreads her wings. There's one final little test that the cat throws at the eagle, both respecting each other. These two just continue the stalemate for 15 minutes plus, and I won't bore you with all of that, but I'd like to know if anyone has seen this before. 
What this bald eagle might be doing, was he after the cat? It didn't really look like it. Maybe it was after something else, I don't know. Drop me a comment if you have any insight. This next clip is trail camera footage uploaded by a TikTok user named Crypt Talker. It shows a mysterious creature in the distance on a rural property. The creature caught on this trail camera is pretty unsettling, as it crawls with disproportionately long limbs and a small head. These unusual characteristics led viewers to speculate that the entity could be the infamous creature known as the Rake a figure from modern urban legends believed to be a humanoid creature that terrorizes its victims. The rake's origins can be traced back to the early 2000s when stories and alleged encounters with it began circulating on various internet forums. Recent sightings of the rake have been rare, making this new trail camera footage particularly intriguing to enthusiasts of cryptozoology. As the video started to gain popularity, the debate over its authenticity heated up. Some viewers began to question if the footage was actual evidence of the elusive rake or merely a carefully crafted hoax, designed only to captivate the imagination of viewers. Like many cryptid sightings, the real truth behind the footage remains elusive and open to interpretation. But what do you guys think about this trail camera footage? Incredible footage here in the snow, as this lynx has his eyes fixed on a squirrel. You can see the athleticism and agility that these creatures possess. It's unbelievable. The squirrel scrambled and jumped from tree to tree to try to avoid the lynx. But alas, the lynx gets what he came for. A few more cat clips as we see a man string up some meat in hopes to lure in a lynx to catch on his trail camera. A side note is that zoos will often do this to keep their cats agile and mobile. Watch what he captured on his trail camera. That leap from the lynx. The slow motion adds to the effects, but it's just unbelievable. I probably watched that a dozen times. It's so impressive. It's amazing to see their abilities. This last clip of the lynx jumping from piling to piling, we featured in a video a few weeks ago. So nimble, incredible balance, great camera captures. This next trail camera capture is from Donnie Laws. If you don't know who that is, check his channel out. Donnie captures some really cool camera footage here as he has 20 plus trail cameras in this region of his property. He says he's always asked if he ever catches anything weird or unexplainable on his cameras. Well, that's what we're here to see. Check this next clip out. Donnie tells us this strange orb showed up one day near dusk. He's not sure if it's some sort of reflection or an orb. The next smoky figure floating through the air he calls the ghost bird picture. This capture was a little closer to dark, but same trail camera, same spot. He says the camera's been here for over 10 years and never caught anything like this ever. Finally, he catches another orb. This time, Donnie explains that this camera's location is deep in the woods. He only has it set for movement plus 10 seconds so he doesn't have to worry about going to change the battery. He says there's one way in and one way out. At night, this is what it picks up. Another floating orb. What do you guys make of all these orbs floating through the woods? 